Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 4, Lesson 8, and we're going to look at how we can identify and measure angles as turns and recognize them in various different kinds of contexts, like story problems. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from today's homework. There are about eight problems on today's homework, and I just want to go through a couple of them with you. Let's take a look at problem number five. Now, this problem asks the following. Let's read, it, read along together. John turned the knob of the shower 270 degrees to the right. Draw a picture showing the position of the knob after he turned it. Okay, well, we could do this a couple of different ways. I want to first do one first uh, out loud, and then I want to do a second one with my actual protractor. Okay, um, let's take a look at what they're saying. 270 degrees to the right. Now, we might notice that 270 degrees, since we've been working with 90 degree angles, we might notice that 270 degrees looks a lot like three 90 degree turns, right? And we think of 90 degree turns as quarter turns, right? We've looked at those in terms of clocks, uh, that a quarter of a circle is 90 degrees. So one of the ways we could think of this is that we start off uh, with the knob pointed this way, and we could think of this as moving three quarter turns to the right. So let's see, one quarter turn would be here, and one quarter turn would be here, and one more quarter turn. Our third quarter turn would have us pointed this way. So I think we could say that at the end, we would be pointing this way. So if we turn this knob, one, two, three quarter turns to the right, or 270 degrees, we would be pointed over here to the left. Great. Now let me grab my protractor and we'll try to do the same thing. Okay, I'm back with my handy dandy protractor and if I line up my 360 degree protractor with the circle that we've got and I line it up here at the very top, I can count out 100, well there's 90 degrees all the way to 180 degrees and then 90 more degrees to tell me that I was in fact right over here is going to be 270 degrees to the right. So we're able to figure it out both if we remembered the quarter turns and if we used a protractor we could figure it out by adding 180 plus the 90, 180 plus 90 to get us to 270 degrees. Let's take a look at one more problem. Let's read the problem here. Meredith faced north. She turned 90 degrees to the right then 180 degrees more. In which, way, in which direction is she now facing? Okay, well, we've got the same issues here that we had with the last one, which is that we can notice that a 90-degree turn to the right should get us from north all the way over to east. That's 90 degrees to the right. But then she turned 180 degrees more. Well, 180 degrees is a half or two quarters, so that's another quarter and a third quarter. So this looks to me like we have the same answer that we had in the last one. It looks like she's going to be facing west. Let's see if that makes sense. She faced north, then she turned 90 degrees to the right. Sure, now she's facing east. And then 180 degrees more south and west. Looks like we're going to be facing west. And here's an interesting thing. What if they had said 90 degrees to the right, and then 180 degrees back to the left? North, west. We'd still end up at the same thing. That's because when you turn 180 degrees, you turn the exact opposite of wherever you were looking. So at that point, it actually doesn't matter whether you go... Uh, to your right or to your left. Either way, we're going to end up facing west. So we should conclude with our sentence, which is Meredith would be facing west. Awesome. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. We'll see you again next time.